بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أي الله حبت في الله this is the the sixth halata with regards to the holy month of Ramadan and how to prepare and 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 preparing ourselves mentally spiritually and perhaps physically for the holy month and I wanted to read a hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or two which illustrate for the importance of benefiting from this holy month and what some of the things we can expect in the Amur Ghaibiyya that we won't we, we expect because of our Iman because of our Aqidah but not because we may physically necessarily witness this. So listen to this hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam أَخْرَجُهُ نِسَائِي وَأَحْمِدْ وَبَيْحَقِي فِي شُعْبَ الْإِمَانِ وَقَالَ إِمَامَ الْبَانِي فِي صَحِيَ النِسَائِي وَصَحِيَ لِغَيْرِهِ Imam al-Bani rahimahullah ta'ala ruled that this was a sound hadith. The Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam said, Atakum shar Ramadan shar mubarak. Faradallahu alaykum siyamihi. Tuftahu fihi abwaab al-sama. Wa tughliku fihi abwaab al-jaheem. Wa tughillu fihi mardata shayateen. Wa fihi layla hiya khayran min alf shahar. Min hurima hurima. خَيْرَهَا فَقَدْ حُرِمَا In this hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, he alayhi salatu wa sallam said, The month of Ramadan has come to you. The blessed month. Allah has made it an obligatory duty upon you to fast it. The gates of heaven are opened and the gates of the hell of the hellfire are closed or locked and the transgressing shayateen the transgressing devils are shackled and during it is a night which is worth more than a thousand months in its in its ibadah in its 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 reward for its ibadah Whoever is prohibited from the good of it, then he is prohibited from it. So meaning, do not miss this, this blessed time. Don't miss the benefit of Ramadan. Don't miss the benefit of Laylatul Qadr. Strive your best. This is advice first and foremost to myself and to my brothers and sisters. Do not miss and make this haram for yourself to get this reward, to get this forgiveness, to come back to Allah, to seek refuge in Allah from the accursed shayateen. You will, Allah is helping you during this time. This is a time to put away the, the v music videos. This is a time to put away the movies. This is a time to put away the other activities that you do that you know are muharram. You know they're illegal and Allah hates them. But this is the time Allah is helping you because the shayateen, the major shayateen are shackled. As some of the imams explain uh, in, uh, in the ahadith, uh, in the explanation of this hadith, that the minor shayateen, that the the minor shayateen, this doesn't necessitate that minor shayateen are still loose, whispering, uh, you know, devils. And as we witness in human devils that call you to evil and that are doing all kind of evil in munkar. But ayyul habitifillah for us, it's very important that we benefit from this time. Benefit from this time that the the doors, the gates of Jannah are open, and the doors of hell are locked. And the, those major shayateen, those transgressing shayateen, are shackled. And the Laylatul Qadr, which is better than a thousand months, the night of power. Whoever prohibits himself from this by not benefiting from this good and fasting correctly, leaving off ghiba, uh, leaving off namima, leaving off the muharramat, then they have prohibited themselves from the good. The Prophet ﷺ said in another hadith, 
إذا دخل شهر رمضان فتح أبواب السماء وغلقت أبواب جهنم وسلسلة الشياطين وفي رواية لمسلم إذا جاء رمضان فتحت أبواب الجنة وغلقت أبواب النار وصدفت الشياطين So in these hadith they are all hadith uh, these are hadith uh, narrated in Bukhari and Muslim which illustrate for us again that when the month of Ramadan enters that the gates of paradise are open the gates of hell are closed and those devils are shackled so this is an important that we benefit from this and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam